Miss Cat. Whoa. Hi, I'm Miss Maxine. Hi, I'm Miss Betsy. Welcome to the garden! Hi friends, Miss Cat here and welcome to the garden. So today we are going to start our garden lesson out by moving our bodies a bit. If you want to stay seated, you can just move your arms around a little bit. But if you feel comfortable, you can stand up and maybe run in place for a few seconds or do some jumping jacks. And then if you're standing, go ahead and have a seat. So the reason why I had you move your bodies is because today we are going to be talking about energy. In order to move our bodies, we need energy. And where do you think we get this energy from? If you said food, you're right. Let's take a closer look at the food chain. So there are three main groups in the food chain. Producer, consumer, and decomposer. And the arrows on this represent the way that energy moves through the food chain. Humans rely on food for their energy. That is, other plants and animals. So that makes us consumers. A consumer is anything that eats plants or animals for its energy. Producers, on the other hand, are able to make their own food using the sun. An example of a producer might be a carrot or another plant that we would eat. And we can see that the sun, the energy from the sun travels into the producer and then the energy is transferred into the consumer when the consumer eats the producer. So when we eat a carrot, it's kind of like we're eating the sun. The last group are the decomposers. And these are so important. Decomposers could be like a mushroom or an earthworm. And the decomposers get their energy from dead or decaying plants or animals. So the energy moves from the producers and the consumers into the decomposers and then they help to return the energy back to the producers by taking all those nutrients and putting it back into the soil. So to recap, producers are living things that make their own food out of water, air, and sunlight. Consumers are living things that eat other plants and animals. And decomposers are living things that eat dead or decaying plants or animals and then transfer the energy back into the soil for the producers. The garden is an excellent place to be able to study food chains because there are so many living things. Let's go into the garden and see if we can find any producers, consumers, or decomposers. One thing that the garden certainly has a lot of is plants. And are the plants in the garden producers, consumers, or decomposers? That's right, they're all producers because they make their own food using the sun, water, and air. I also found some bees and insects buzzing around the garden. Would you guess producer, consumer, or decomposer? These bees are consumers because they are getting their food from the flowers, which are a producer. There are also lots of mushrooms in the garden. Would you say producer, consumer, or decomposer? That's right, these are decomposers because they are breaking down a lot of this decaying plant material, like these bark chips, and turning it back into good soil. Are you ready for your garden challenge? All right, so your garden challenge is to think about some of the food that you today or this week and see if you can trace the food chain all the way back to the sun. All right, see you next time.